You're watching The Ugly Inside. Subscribe below. Welcome back to TUI Transfer Talk. And today it's been officially confirmed the soap proper is over. Ronald Koeman has officially signed for Everton, handing in his resignation to the board of Southampton. Uh, Nick, what do we make of it? What's your instant reaction to it, mate? Well, like most Saints fans, I'm very disappointed. You know, I've, I've said in the past that Ronald Koeman, if he'd stayed another year, maybe two years, could have been one of the great managers of Southampton Football Club and, and up there with Ted Bates and Laurie McManamy. We knew that he was going to go at some time. And I think the sad thing and the reason why it does make it so hard is that he's gone for the money, basically. Um, Everton are a bit, you know, are a sleeping giant, as they say, and do have the potential. But the fact of the matter is, it's a five-year plan now at Everton. Uh, even if he gets £150 million to spend, the rebuild of that squad will take a lot, lot longer. And there's five or six clubs like uh, Manchester United, Manchester City, Chelsea, Arsenal, Spurs and even Liverpool, who've probably got a similar amount of transfer fee to spend and have got a much better squad to start off from. So, you know... There's probably 20 reasons why he should have stayed at Saints. Unfortunately, there's 7 million reasons why he went, and they're all pound notes. <laughs> or show my age for pound coin. <laughs> um, so it sounds like uh, it's a bit of a bitter pill to swallow because obviously uh, a few months ago when he was asked about his speculation of his future, he said, yes, I'm, I'm going to stay. I'm going to see out my contract. Uh, it all turns out to be lies. Yeah, I mean, that's the sad thing. and. I mean, you know, Ronald Koeman throughout his life and throughout his term as Saints manager had all, always come across as a very honest man. And, you know, looking back over his history, uh, you know, he's never seemed to have broken a contract or, or done that. He's been straight up. But, you know, they say every man has got his price. And it seems to me that Ronald Koeman's was seven million. I mean... Having said that, we've got to put it behind us now. You know, it, I don't, I've got to be honest, I don't feel the same pain or anger I felt when Maurizio Pochettino left. I mean, we always knew Ronald Koeman was going to leave. We always knew that he wanted a bigger job. It's just sad that we we thought that he would go for the betterment of his career, but he's gone for the betterment of his wallet. Um, fact of the matter, though, is, you know, he's gone. And we've, as they say, we've got to march on. And I've said this for the last three summers, sadly, but it's never about what's happened. It's about what you do next. And it's, you know, we've really got good foundation in there. And that's why I'm not glad. So I'm not unhappy that Koeman's gone because we've got the foundation there behind us. And, you know, from that point, Ronald Koeman did a great job at Saints. Uh you know, again, another old adage is, you know, it's better to have loved and lost. And I think in this case, it's better to have had Ronald Koeman for two years and do the job he did and lose him than it would have been to perhaps get an inferior manager. So, you know, he's come here. He's done a good job. He's gone. Let's move on and let's look at the next, you know, appointment behind him. So that brings us on to our next bit, really. I mean, the big question is uh, what next for the Saints? Well, more importantly, uh who next? I mean, obviously, there's a couple of favourites in line for the job. You've got Eddie Howe, Frank De Boer, and Unai Emery, and there's also a few others that are knocking about, but it seems unlikely. Of those, you know, three or maybe a name that I haven't said, who who would you prefer to come in and, and take the reins at Saints? I mean, the the opening, but the the bookies not opening because they've been running the book for a week. But the the, the opening favourite is Frank De Boer. You know, and I'd be happy with that. And on a lot of, on a lot of cases, I mean, the, the rumour is that De Boer was turned down by Everton. Uh, I mean, I, I, you know, I'd question why, because De Boer has a pedigree up there with Koeman. I mean, Koeman perhaps has done it with several other clubs, but De Boer has been there at, at Ajax for four years as manager, and he was there before that as assistant coach, etc. He's got the pedigree. You know, and you know, his CV looks good for Saints. I mean, second in the bookies' odds is Eddie Howe, and and again, I I, I go with a, a lot of people's views here. I don't think Eddie Howe's big enough at this point to step in. Not from the point of view he's a good coach; he's done well at, at Bournemouth, but at this stage of where we are as a club, 
we need someone who's got that international experience, as Cooman had two years ago, who can come in, can steady the ship with some of our player, you know, our big names, and bring in some big names as well. So I mean, obviously, uh, I think for me anyway, I think Frank de Boer would fit the the Southampton way, which obviously Les Reed is implementing into the club, and obviously Ralph and Katarina as well, but. I mean, obviously, uh, Ajax, Ajax are very much in the same mould of Southampton because, I mean, they've got a fantastic youth academy and they've, and they've reproduced some some world class players, especially sort of um, you know similar to what we've done, obviously with Gareth Bale, uh, Walker, mm. and a few others. Um, so, I mean, I think a natural fit would be Frank de Frank de Boer. Yeah, Frank Frank de Boer would be good. I mean, Unaya Emery from Sevilla would be good, but he's looking to go to. PSG by the look of it. I mean, Murat Yakin's mentioned. And I mean, and I wouldn't discount, you know, a lot of Everton fans I've known have said, look, you know, David Moyes would be a good fit for the Saints. He's not going to be a popular choice. But, you know, when you look at what he did at Everton, he did at Everton for 10, 11 years, exactly what we would want him to do there. He, he built a team. He had loyalty to the club. He had affinity to the club. And, you know, he took them to a top four finish. They were always in and around six or seven, five, six, seven when he was there. They played regularly in Europe. They got to a couple of semi-finals. They reached a cup final. You know, that's what we probably look for a manager. So, you know, there's a lot of Saints fans out there, perhaps with a little bit of delusions of Grandall, maybe, or of what we can do and what we can't do. And we'd, we'd turn down Moyes out of hand. But, you know, Moyes' record in England has been very good at Everton. And, you know, again, he, you know, he had a top six finish at Manchester United, which is not far far worse than, uh, you know, Van der Hagel had when he was there. So, you know, I wouldn't dismiss him out of hand. These big questions, I mean, on the website today, you know, the inference, it seemed, from the Saints thing was Koeman wasn't buying into the Southampton way of playing now and that's that involves bringing youth in but you can only bring in youth if they're good enough and and the fact of the matter is that Ronald Koeman's job at Southampton Football Club is to get the team to where it is today and that's six in the league and in the Europa League his job is not to bring in I would I you know I would say to Saints fans who say well yeah no he never brought the youth through the reason he didn't is because he had better players to play in front of him Harris Harrison Reed is a good player, good prospect, but would you play him in front of the five other players in central midfield? You wouldn't have played him in front of Wanyama. You wouldn't have played him in front of uh, Davis. You wouldn't have played him in front of Classy or Romeo. And Ward Prowse is probably a little bit better. So there's five players that were in this, the way through in front of Harrison Reed. So it's not a question of Ronald won't bring him the youth through. The fact is, you've got to get better players in. You can only bring the youth through if they're good enough. Matt Target, I rate him as a great prospect. I think he'll be a Premier League player for 10 years to come. But he's not better than Ryan Bertrand. Uh, and that's the issue. You know, it's OK about buying into it. But you you, you pay your manager to be at the top. You, it's down to the people below him to bring the youth through and make them better. Yeah. Well, uh, well, there we have it, guys. Let us know in the comments below what you think of the Ronald Koeman saga. The soap opera has finally concluded. Uh, who would you like to be the next Southampton manager? Let us know in the comments and subscribe for more.